Naples Airport is a convenient asset to our city. It accommodates over 100,000 takeoffs and landings every year, flying in people from all over the world to our beautiful Paradise Coast. And how you yourself have a, have a plane, and so you fly in and out of this airport? I fly in and out of here privately, and I've developed uh, three hangar buildings on the Naples airport starting in 2000. So. And you probably fly into a lot of different airports. I do. So where does this one rate in comparison? Um, it would be up at the top. The services are wonderful. Um, it's in great shape. Um, it's easy to navigate around. So, and um, they recently remodeled the whole interior of the of the body. general aviation terminal. Yeah, we call it an FBO, fixed base operations, mm -hmm. and that's the terminal for the private guys. Like you go to a terminal at RSW for the uh, commercial flights. If you've ever dreamed about becoming a pilot, Rex Air makes it easier than ever to fulfill that dream right here at the airport. So tell us a little bit about what you offer here at Rex Air Aviation. So Rex Air is a full service training facility and we take people from walking in off the street all the way to their commercial licenses so that they can fly for the airlines if that's their goal. Wow, so you so you can just walk off the street, come here, sign up for your course and get your pilot's license? Absolutely, um, all, practically all the way to the airlines and we have two different types of clients, so, uh, young people who do want to be airline pilots but then also just local people usually in their 40s, 50s who just decided that they've always wanted to fly and they're, they're going to start doing it now and we work with them as well. So how does that process work? How long does it take? How long, much does it cost? All of those details. Well roughly to get your first license, uh, which is called a private pilot's license, it's around $15,000. And it takes around four to six months if you come about twice a week, which is the minimum that we recommend to be able to progress. And so do you provide the, the um, plane for people to learn on? And, and is there always an instructor with you? How does that all work? Yes, it's very much like tutoring. It's not so much of a classroom type of environment as one-on-one, -on -one, like learning to play a piano, for example. And um, we do provide the aircraft, and we have two general categories of airplanes. We have the Cessna 172, which most people learn in. It's the most popular plane ever produced. There's some 40,000 of them have been manufactured. And we also have Cirrus aircraft, which is a it's a faster, more powerful, and therefore more expensive airplane. And some people want to to learn on that or if they already have a certificate to learn to fly that airplane specifically. The, uh, the SR-22 and the whole Cirrus line, what they're known for is that they have parachutes in them. And so if uh, somebody got in trouble, there's a handle in the roof and you, you pull the handle and a parachute would come out the back of the airplane and lower you to the ground. We actually have a lot of young people who learn to fly here. Collier County has a special situation to where people who are kids are in high school can get a scholarship for their flight training. And so we actually have a lot of high school students who, who filter through here. Uh, Collier County was the home of the James A. Ray Foundation. James Ray was a, a World War II pilot and he was very successful, I think, making vaccines. And so he created this foundation and it's probably the largest aviation benefactor in the country. And so there's scholarships that are available for people all over the country, but there's a special carve out for students of Collier County. And so it's, we have practically an unlimited number of scholarships that are available for young people who want to follow aviation as a career. Flying encompasses a lot from weather to aircraft systems to regulations, airspace. It's just a, there's a lot to learn, but most people who come to it are fascinated by that anyway, and so they really look forward to the learning. After completing your licensing, Rex Air will also rent airplanes to pilots, so no need to purchase one right away. Uh, what an asset that the Naples Airport is to the community. Mm -hmm. you know, a big employer, we employ more than 20 people here at Rex Air, and there's about over 850 people who work on the airport. And it's a convenient airport that's, located, that's centrally located, and it's uh, just, just a big asset to the community. I don't think Naples would be what it is without the, the, the facilities that we have at the airport and the, the jets and all the other people who come to Naples just because of the ease of access. Naples Airport connects you to Naples through an exceptional airport experience.